Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam a jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Commando, the Siren... Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. It's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Hmm. This area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skelly men. They start shooting at you! You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, ho, ho. I want to smack you. Okay, everybody back up! I'm back, bitches! I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy! Does Stop that work? This pleases me. All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. Let's go there. Oh, let's go. You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting glimpse, always alert in case of meadows and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. The queen hath gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the Queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Good morrow, fair maiden. Does something trouble you? The queen is missing! She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world! So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. You're still alive. Good. Magic, magic. Nothing like a gun at your side. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. My bullets aren't magic, but they are cheap. I'm sure that'll find a nice home in some orc's face.
Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, and... Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Tor! Tina, put me in the game! Okay, the gatekeeper is now Mr. Tor. Woo! Prefail! I had to see you! Wow! So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me. First task, blow up the village's scouting blimps with the fire weapon. Because reasons! We just destroyed the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Fantasy! All right, that ass task too. Go to the town tavern. Our owner has a problem. Talk to her. Hey, baby, I'm hung like a vault monster. So it's hard to find and ultimately disappointing? That's what she said. <laughs> hey, adventurer, it's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh come on, alright. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never say <laughs> nothing douchey again, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. This position is really uncomfortable. New mission. I want you to blow up the ocean. Can you please get him out of our way? All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin the Gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. You enter the forest of tranquility! Tranquility. Boring. Hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. Damn! I knew I shouldn't have dropped the tree. You find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. Let's play tag. This horse grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? Uh, where you going? We're exploring. You may not want to do that. I only balance the combat on the main path and- Oh no. Look out, minion! Those in- Wait, wait, wait. How in the hell are we supposed to kill these things? Ah! My bad! My bad! I'll fix it! I can- Let me fix it! <laughs> Boom! Combat balanced! Follow me. I believe the queen went this away. Curses. A dead end. There must be some way through. This is orcish writing. Hmm. It says you need to bathe the artifacts in the juices of blah 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 
Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here! Huh? Good. Now smear it on the artifacts, please. Morty, you look different. Yeah? Oh, it's the... Where's your party? Your little party friend. <sighs> Tina, we told you what happened to Bloodwing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, oh, she's so cute. Head. Where is she? Oh. Let's just oh. play the game, oh. all right? What oh. happened, oh. Another dead end. Damn the luck! I just remembered, this next fight won't work unless Roland's here. We should probably just take a break until Roland shows up. Stop it. Roland's not- Oh, I got an idea, I got an idea! The gatekeeper says- More orcish scrawls. It reads, Retrieve the White Knight, for only he can open the way. And I know just where he is! Waypoint! Suddenly, you see the White Knight before you in all of his handsome, heroic glory! It's Rowan! Huh? What the hell? We'll talk later! Help me fight this thing! Hey, Shorty, you're the best. I owe you one. This can't be healthy. You fought well, girl. I'll be honored as hell to join your quest. Roland doesn't talk like that. He does when I'm voicing him, girl. Yes, for shizzle. Now let's go. Hey, girl. I was in that blimp looking for the queen before somebody burned it down. So, who's this queen, anyway? What are we looking for? She's the most beautifulest woman in the history of ever. Shorty's got legs for days. Wow. That was unhelpful. Tina? Tina! Sorry. Just thinking about them legs. <laughs> ah, the White Knight. Stand here and raise thy sword, good sir. Okay. Behold, the path to the Tree of Life is open. Mayhaps we shall find your queen there. What is this place? Vitality Grove. This is where the Tree of Life first took root. The tree holds all the good and natural magics of the world. The Queen must have come here to reverse the Sorceress Curse. The Queen's, uh... not here. <sighs> the writings say we could reverse the curse ourselves <laughs> with a simple ritual. Give me the blood fruit. We shall reverse the curse, then find the Queen ourselves. Gods of the old magics, give me the strength to undo the horrible curse that was cast by the handsome, intelligent, and super awesome sorcerer. Hold on, Shiva. Hold on, Shiva. Hold on, Shiva. Oh, crap. 
Ghost King spell, Booyah Face! Handsome sorcerer here. She was kidnapped your queen like three hours ago. She's already in my tower. Oh, thanks for helping me summon the Ghost King here, though. Have fun dying! As a representative of the Queen's Imperial Guard, I, Roland, dub you. Anyway, if you're looking for the Queen, the Sorcerer's got her. You'll need to cut through the Dwarven Slave Mines to reach his tower. You enter the Dwarven Mines. You hear the anguished wails of the Sorcerer's political prisoners and enslaved dwarves. These mines house Ragnar, king of the dwarves and leader of the anti-sorcerer resistance. Mayhaps, if you talk to the dwarves, you could join forces and become unstoppable, mayhaps. Don't worry, boys. My charisma is off the charts. I'll convince him to... Ah, 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 Lily. Whoever rolls highest will talk to him. Throw them dice. Twenty! <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Lil. Looks like Brick's gonna talk to the dwarf king. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> No more. Over here, laddie. My boys are itching to fight by your side. I punch him! Brick, don't. If you just talk to him, we can... I punch him! <sighs> you just gonna stare at me, or are you gonna say something? Nope. Quit it! Youch! Sorry. You should have never come down here. Let go of me! Damn it, boy! We gotta fight through him to get out of here! It's off to hell I go! In the distance, you see a lonely wizard blocking your path. Maybe he can help us out of here. I say we talk to him. With words. I don't know why y'all looking at me. Oh, no! Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You'll either die or be enslaved. And I can't in good conscience let you continue in your foolhardy quest. You shall not pass! Hey! You're talking to me! And I didn't even have an exclamation point over my head. This is the best day of my life! Damn it! Fine. If you really want to get to the Sorcerer's Castle, I'll mark the exit on your map. But if you die, you won't be able to say I didn't warn you. Because you'll be dead. The exit is locked by Dwarven door locking magic. Well, damn! Now how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about dwarven door locking magic. Let me open the way for you. Yield and open! No way! That's like my third favorite type of magic! Look, you're gonna need the secret Dwarven passphrase to open the door. Go find some weird runes scattered around the mines. I, I bet those are the letters making up the passphrase. But if you'll find the letters, you can probably get out of here. In fact, I found one just the other day. But you can't have this one. You can find your own. I love this thing. This rune is my Hey! Aww. That looks like the symbol for the letter T. One letter down. The sorcerer told me about you. Said you'd come for his queen. What tough titty. I'm in charge of these mines, and you'll never get the other rooms. Never! Oh, you can't, douche. You still
still need two more letters to complete the pass phase, and I have the last one! Let go! Standing before you is a dwarven puzzle. To get past it, you gotta think real hard. To the max! Hmm... I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. All the way back? Oh, man. All right, girl, all right. Here. I made some glowy portals for your laser butts. Did you just say laser butts? <laughs> Whatever that is, I want it. R-A-T-F? We have to unscramble that? Is it raft? I bet it's raft. That not the password? Oh god, I just figured it out. So say it. Fine, it's art. <laughs> Everything. With the sorcerer's tower in sight, you think of what you're going to spend your reward money on once you rescue the queen. Lots and lots of books. And guns. <laughs> Alright, hang on, I just wait a hang on, wait up, I'm gonna release uh my dragon on you in a sec. Just gotta get my camcorder ready. There we go. <laughs> gonna put dubstep on footage of you guys dying and get tons of hits on the Echo Net. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay, action! The dragon from the beginning of the campaign approaches! Roll! Fire! Initiative! <laughs> Door. 
I'm gonna take a different route. I'll see you later, I promise. You drop into the moldy dungeon, embarrassed at how easily the sorcerer lured you into his trap. Good luck escaping my dungeon, jackasses. <laughs> it's been real. So, how do we get back to town? You can't. You trap, son. But I want to do side quests and stuff. Oh, good point. Suddenly, this happened! Sounds like a prisoner or something. Maybe she'll know a way out of here. Well, let's go find her then. Huh? Uh. Tina, huh? back there, you can't just force us to fall into a trap. We need a chance to escape it or something. I'm sorry, I didn't think you guys would make it so far in one session. I hadn't planned this part in advance. I'm making it up as I go. Yeah, but the rules say... Lily, downstairs six people are beating info out of a Hyperion spy, and you're talking about rules? Seriously? <laughs> All right, we're all to see who does the talking. Oh, for the love of... Ha-ha! <laughs> Twenty! I punch her! Brick, no! She's our only ticket out of here. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to the prisoner. Release me. I shall show you the way to my father's keep. Sure, why not? <sighs> Finally. I am free to wreak my vengeance upon the world! <sighs> Starting with you! I told you we should have punched her! I told you! Oh, yeah. Probably should have mentioned I kind of only trapped you in my dungeon so that you knew exactly what you just did, so... Have fun getting killed by my freak-ass daughter, I guess. <laughs> Fear me. For the queen! Stop. Explosives out! Huh. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Alright, you know what? Fine. Just come on up. For the queen! Real this time. I'm unlocking the elevator. Did we really have to kill the sorcerer's daughter kill, like that? She wasn't... She wasn't as bad as you seem to think she was. What? Nah, man. The sorcerer's daughter is the worst. If it weren't for her dumb butt, everything would have been fine and nobody would have died. I'm waiting. Oh, yes. You made it to the tower. Now I can watch from my balcony as your torn limb from screaming bloody limb. Damn, Tina. That was graphic. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You better hurry. If you don't get here quick, my men are gonna bust into your precious little queen cell and murder her ass. Good luck bringing light back to the world when you're seeing there's nothing but a pile of ash. Whoa, whoa. You wouldn't kill the queen before we even had a chance to save her, would you, Tina? I told you, girl. No rules. Now, where was I? Too late to 
to save your precious little queen, but hey, at least you get to die in unimaginable freaking pain. Here it is, the big boss. Are you sure you don't want to wait for Roland? We can't wait for Roland because he's- Time for a boo, fight! Get up! Lightning bolt! Oh! Enough, Tina. You did it. We've won. And Roland showed up, and he was really happy, and everyone lived forever, and it was great the end. Enough! You can't just deny what Jack did to Roland. I can't hear you. She's right, Tina. So do you want to do some side quests, or...? You need to accept it. Roland is dead! I know! I know! But it's my story! And... You know what? It's okay. He doesn't have to go. Not if you don't want him to. Yeah, keep going. I actually want to know how the story ends. Thank you. As the sorcerer's fatal spell hurtled toward the oblivious knight, it was clear that only a miracle would save him. But luckily for the knight, a miracle is exactly what he got. Hell yeah! So what did you guys think of that fight? I'm looking for some feedback. I liked the part where we killed him. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mordecai? It wasn't... wasn't bad, I guess. Don't forget, though, the queen is still trapped in her cell! As you step over the corpses of the unfortunate knights who tried to murder their queen, you know you've come to the right place. For who else could possibly bring the light back to the world? Who else but the most beautiful, most glamorous, and most graceful queen in history? But Stallion! That's... I don't know why I'm surprised. She is beautiful. With the queen safe, she can finally cast her magic spell and bring light back to the world. She's gonna need some iridium to charge her spell. Better feed her some. <laughs> What did you guys think? That was really good, Tina. Hell yeah! That was honestly... pretty fun. Hey guys, that spy just coughed up the access codes to the Hyperion moon base. Anybody feel like blowing up a space station? Hell yes I do! And so the Vault Hunters and their little psychopath headed back into the wasteland. Back, once again, into the world of blood and insanity they'd taken an all too brief vacation from. Goodbye. And in the days to come, they'd think of their fallen friends. Of the adventures they shared, 
both real and imaginary. And they'd remember that no matter how bad things got, they were never truly alone so long as they had each other. I love you guys. Oh. And then Claptrap said something stupid and ruined everything.